you feel something on your face like pins and needles if something is pinching you like your skin be doing you some logoligi that is what hi legion so welcome back to my channel thank you so much for sticking with me throughout the journey thank you so much and if you are new please do well to subscribe i be you know how we do it dada and whenever you hit on the subscribe button please check if it is subscribed if it's subscribed it means you've successfully subscribed if it is uh, unsubscribed tap on it one once again and then it will subscribe and so if you are new to the channel you don't know who i am my name is Cecilia brigitte abnabodo and i'm a beautician not a magician so feel free to send me all your skincare issues as well as your hair care issues if you're having problem with dandruff you're having problem with dry scalp if you're suffering from acne you're suffering from any kind of skin disease or any skin disorder you can leave a comment down below at the comment session or you can also follow me on instagram and um dm me with your qu questions or, or book a consultation with me so today we're going to talk about tingling or the tingling effect of product if your products tingle what does it mean first of all when we say tingle what does it mean have you ever tried a new skincare product that caused um severe burning on your face Sometimes the burning, you may feel the burning around this area of your face or the side or your chin, sometimes your forehead and at other times it's the whole face. Have you ever experienced anything like that? And what did that tell you? A lot of people have different perceptions and different meanings when you have the tingling effect. And so that is what we're going to talk about. A lot of people think that if a skincare product tingles, it must be working. Well, that might not be the case all the time. The tingling effect of a product might mean that it is working in some way. The ingredients that often lead to the tingling sensation are typically exfoliants. Example of these exfoliants are vitamin C serums, the retinols, the AHA or alpha hydroxy acids. These products exfoliate the skin which means that they, they take away a little bit of the top layer of the skin. So you could feel a sting. That makes you feel that um, the products are working because of course the nerves are firing and the surface of the skin because of the skin is newer underneath and all the dead skin cells have been exfoliated. Sometimes it's all about the experience. So when you are having the tingling sensation, um, it is because sometimes the exfoliants are ripping off the dead skin cells and new skin cells are resurfacing there are specifically formulated ingredients that can be added to skincare products to give you the cooling effect and that's part of the experience of a skincare product but it is up to the company or the skincare brand to decide whether you're going to add um, a cooling agent or not they do that so that um, it feels so good and your skin feels so refreshing but that doesn't necessarily mean it's working but it helps with your skincare experience i mean why would you go and buy a product that is going to sting and you can't even tell whether it's working or not and at least if a product is not working and it's not stinging it's better at least you know it, it gives you that cooling sensation it's better than going to buy something that would sting and you not even see any 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 improvement in your skin so if some skincare products tingle and others don't Sometimes it's really hard to figure out which one is actually doing anything to your skin. So this is the reason why I'm here today to, to, to help you to know what a tingling sensation means and how to tell if a skincare product is working or not. Number one, a good first step to check if a product will really work on your skin is to read the label. If you see ingredients like glycolic acid, retinol then you can expect a tingling or a burning sensation to some effect because what these products does it is um they are exfoliating your skin which means they are ripping off some dead skin cells from the skin so definitely you should expect um a burning sensation or a tingling but if you see something like menthol or eucalyptus then it means you are going to have a cooling effect or a cooling sensation because um 
those products are, are mild they are not too harsh so if you see if you read the ingredients and you find out that there is um peppermint tingling uh, i said tingling peppermint menthol or eucalyptus as part of the ingredients then it means um it's going to provide a cooling sensation with that being said the best way to tell if a product is actually working is um to compare your before and after photos after 30 days of use test the product for at least four weeks before you can decide whether the product is working or not and if you are wondering whether a product works um if it doesn't tingle the answer is yes not all skincare products tingle and uh, our, our skin has not been designed the same way a product that might work for me may not work for you a product that might cause my skin to tingle might not tingle your skin so if you want to know if a product is really working it doesn't have to tingle sometimes it doesn't have to tingle but all you need to do is to compare your previous pictures to your current picture just compare the skin and see the difference that is the only way you can tell if a product is working or not our skin is as unique as fingerprints in many ways and we all have certain products and ingredients that it can tolerate so if a product does not work or make you tingle doesn't mean it's not going to make me tingle all what the tingling sensation is trying to tell you is that the product is very active the product is very strong so reduce the quantity that you use on your on your skin some people think before for them to get a, a good looking skin or forget for them to get a healthy skin they need to apply a lot no <laughs> it doesn't work like that just a small a dime size amount of product should be enough to to treat your skin so if you're having a tingling sensation it means the product is very active so you need to um, reduce the quantity that you apply to your skin burn on the other hand will cause your skin to be inflamed and sometimes even bumpy like a rash so if a product is doing that to your skin it's best to stay away from it and it's also important to know the difference between a tingle and a burn the tingling sensation is such that you feel something on your face like pins and needles if something is pinching you like your skin be doing you some logoligi that is what the tingling sensation is but the burn is when you feel something is burned like something hot has been poured on your on your skin that is what is meant by the the burn so try to know the difference between the tingling sensation and the burn if you are burning please stay away from the product if you are tingling it means the product is very um active and so you need to use it in moderation especially when it comes to the exfoliants and um alpha hydroxy acids retinols those products used for exfoliation or for treatment of the skin you need to be very careful with how you use it and um, there is this adage in tree that says um, you, you should use your products in moderation number two if your routine has a lot of steps if your routine has a lot of steps my sister forget it it will not work you might think that the more the skincare st steps involved and the more the skincare routine the more effective your results but it's rather the opposite there are a few things that can go wrong when you have a lot of steps with your skincare routine that some products may end up canceling the effect of the other and it will cause irritation to your skin and sometimes dryness if you have a sensitive skin and so it's always advisable to start with a simple skincare routine like I always tell you, if you've watched some of my videos, see that I advise the CTM, Cleanse, Tone, Moisturizer. And if you want to go a little bit further with an upgraded version, you add a sunscreen. You start with small steps, short steps, simple steps, then you upgrade. It's better than trying to push everything. So sometimes I tell one of my clients she always be telling me eh i my skin is this my skin is that my skin is that so i put her on a simple skincare routine cleanse tone moisturize she started doing that she saw effect on her skin then she started telling me um eh, i'm also suffering from acne i want this i want that like when she goes to social media and she sees all those skincare products she wants to incorporate it into her regimen i told her skincare doesn't work like that you, the more you have a lot of skincare routines, uh, the more products you use in your skincare routine, the more inactive 
the product becomes so you tackle one product at one problem at a time so if it is acne you are targeting you start with acne after treating the acne you move on to hyperpigmentation after have hyperpigmentation you move on to the dark circles and maybe you move on to smooth skin or wrinkles or something and that is how you can see the effectiveness three if you're experiencing excess redness or um, rashes or any flashing on your face then it's a clear indication that the product is not working if you suffer from ro rosacea it's important to add an anti-inflammatory um products to your skincare routine between the cleansing and the protection but if you are not doing any of these and you are you are just sticking to a normal skincare routine and you realize that the more you use a particular product the more rushes flares on your flares up on your face or the more your skin turns red then it's a clear indication that the product is not working for you and so you need to put a stop to it immediately number four just as if you notice um red bumps or um rashes on your skin it's a clear indication that the product is not working or it's not good for your skin the same way if you apply the product or use the product for like three to four weeks that is like one month and you're not seeing any changes in your skin the product is not working it is that simple if you realize that maybe you were trying to fight um hyperpigmentation and after one month of application you realize that you still have the hyperpigmentation there has been no changes in your skin you don't feel any difference from your previous from how your skin looked before you started using the product it's not working so you just have to stop using it five if you notice any discoloration in your skincare product it is an alarm so if you know you have a skincare product that has been sitting on your cabinet for like over a year they might have expired and vitamin c's are highly unstable unstable and over time they oxidize turn into different colors so you notice any discoloration in your skincare product you might not get or you will not even experience all what the product has to offer because it has been in the counter for so long it has been exposed to some some things and the power or the strength of the of the of the product might have gone down so you will not benefit fully like if you had bought a new product so it's always important that you look out for expiration dates on your products when you are buying the products at the shop look out for expiration dates because if the product has expired you are either going to cause more harm to your skin or you're not going to benefit in any way which will bring you back to square one aside from the color changes you can also look out for bad odor change of texture and maybe mold spots in the product if you see any of these it is an alarm that the product has expired and so you need to throw them away.